Where are all the Indians? They're not the same kind of Indians we have in America, darling. What kind are they, then? These are the real Indians. The ones back home were called Indians by mistake because when Christopher Columbus discovered America, he thought it was India. Then his grandfather an Indian? No, dear. He's an Englishman, a colonel in the army. You know that. Then why doesn't he live in England? Because Queen Victoria transferred him here. Will we live right in Grandfather's house? Why, of course. Then we won't have to worry anymore about the butcher and the grocerman? No, darling. Too bad we didn't get acquainted with Grandfather sooner. Sergeant McDuff of the 7th Highlanders. Mummy, why does he wear that funny little petticoat? Hush, dear. <clears throat> Colonel Williams sent me to meet you, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Will you come this way, ma'am? Uh, I have a trunk, two hat boxes. Oh, and my mandolin. Mandolin? You'd better come with me to identify them, ma'am. Can I come too? No, dear, you wait here. Excuse me, sir, please, mister. But is this where the circuses come from? Yes, Missy Baba. Very hot day. Baba. Yes. Priscilla! 
Hey, mister, you dropped your necklace. Bitch, mother. No. Hey, wait a minute. Our rifles. We met for this. Where's the thief in Bataan you got him from? Kodak Khan. Kodak Khan. Caught him, Sergeant. <laughs> Wait until the Colonel hears about this. Take him to headquarters. Better follow me, ma'am. Sort of sacred charm, dear. Keep it, lassie, and hang it round your neck. Then they say no harm can befall you. Well, harm befall him? That man could have come, now that he hasn't got it anymore? Oh, plenty of harm. Don't fret your little heart. That's a bad, bad character, Kola Khan. Like the robbers in your fairy book. Like Alab Eppin, the 40 thieves? Yes, now, no more questions, Priscilla. Are there many ladies living at the army post, Sergeant? Not many ladies, ma'am. It's a difficult place to live, even for a soldier. Mr. Macduff, is a sergeant higher than a colonel? <laughs> Not this side of paradise. Your grandfather's the commanding officer of the whole caboodle here. Is my grandfather nice? Well, uh, I can't say that he's exactly nice, but uh, he's a grand soldier. And I have every respect for him. They, the men call him Old Boots. Old Boots? Why do they call him that? Well, because he still sleeps in his boots like he used to do in the old days. When a man had to be ready for emergencies, day or night. Sergeant McDuff. Priscilla. Mommy, I just want to ask Sergeant McDuff one more question. How do you keep the mosquitoes from biting your knees? Din! Lost it, parlor mate. Din! Oh, them women is here. Fetch the luggage. Is that grandfather? Mom it in. Luggage. Killed in blood. Come on, luggage, luggage here. That's uh, Joe. Grandfather? Thank me. Fetch the luggage. We'll sit down, Mom. Look. And I presume you have no recollection of riding across the parade ground like a blasted maniac on a buffalo. Oh. Was it a buffalo? But I told you before, Brandish. Your antic behavior, your irresponsible attitude, is conduct unbecoming an officer. Set a bad example to the men. This is not Mayfair or a tea party on the Thames. You're on probation, Brandish. All privileges revoked for 30 days. Dismissed! I'll, uh, I'll tell him you're here. Grandfather always mad like that? Your grandfather? Oh, not always. Only when he's disobeyed or... or thinks he's disobeyed. How do you 
do? How do you do? How do you do? The ladies are here, sir. Oh. Splendid. Uh, good man. Thank you. Splendid. Yes, I, I, I must see them, I suppose. I must report, sir. The Coda Khan was arrested in Rajpur. Today, sir. What? Coda Khan? Himself? Caught red-handed, sir, with a dozen of our rifles. Must have been hiding them in Rajpur. Ah. Out of all the thieving batons, why the devil must they arrest the biggest black out of the lot? Looks bad, sir. Bad? Having Coda Khan under lock and keys like holding a tiger by the tail. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry! The whole hill country will be up in arms. I think... I think I'm gonna call you Copy. Copy? Priscilla. But why? Because of your hair. It's like a shiny new copper penny. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it is pretty awful. I like it. Don't you, Mummy? Well, uh, yes, of course. Might I ask, are you here on a visit? No, we expect to stay. Oh. Did you really ride the buffalo? Why, yes, I... I... What was it like? Well, riding a buffalo is like... Didn't you ever ride a buffalo? Well, come on, climb on, and I'll tell you oh, how. Oh, no, I don't think you're bad, Mr. Please! Oh, Priscilla! Oh. oh. Mrs. Williams? Joy's father. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. I, um, I trust, uh, I trust you had a comfortable journey. Yes, thank you. Ah. Uh, and, uh... Whoa! <laughs> hey, Whoa! What the deuce is all this? That must be Grandfather. This is Priscilla. Oh. How do you do, Grandfather? Uh, how, how, how do you do? I, uh, 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 I, um... She's most irregular, sir. You, uh... Oh, please uh, don't scold Copy again. It wasn't Copy's fault. Really, it wasn't. Copy? Who's Copy? Why, uh, Priscilla has a habit of nicknaming people. Oh. You have a nickname already, haven't you? Priscilla. Eh? Well, uh, well, people usually address me as Colonel. That's what I was going to call you, Colonel. Oh, you were? Huh. What are you waiting for? Nothing, sir. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Copy. It was very kind of you to send for us. Oh, my plain duty, madam. Son's widow, helpless female. I, I'd have sent for you years ago if I'd known you were destitute. I didn't want anybody to know. But the landlady always found Gosh, out... Dear. I did my best to work. Very distressing. Very distressing. Well, you're here now. We do appreciate it. Mommy almost cried when she got your letter. She was so glad. Dear me. Dear me. Dear me. Uh, Bagby. Bagby! Sir? Oh, there you are. What the place is that? Show Mrs. Williams her quarter. Yes, sir. I trust, uh, I trust you'll accommodate yourself to the life we live here. Army post, you know, routine, discipline, all that sort of thing. Oh, we will. Hmm. Does that mean we gotta sleep with our boots on? Oh, what? No, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> boots. <laughs> Mommy, I don't think Grandfather likes me very well. Oh, of course he does, darling. Perhaps he just doesn't understand little girls. You see, the Colonel has always been used to soldiers. Mommy, I want to go home. Oh, but darling, this is our home.
Shake your head, yes or no? Priscilla, you mustn't annoy the sentry. I wasn't annoying him, Mummy. The poor man's deaf and dumb. Oh, no, dear. It's just that he's not allowed to talk on duty. Come here, darling. Oh. Here, you must wear this whenever you go outdoors. Oh, boy, I like it. It's going to make me feel like a soldier. <laughs> and remember all the things you've been told. I know them all by heart. Don't eat any fresh fruit. Don't drink any water unless it's spoiled. Don't ever go outside the army gates. Keep out of the sun. And, uh, and, and... don't talk to sentry. Good morning, Colonel. Good morning. Keep that on your head whenever you go out in the sun. Good morning. Morning. Sunstroke. Bad. You're, you're looking a bit off, off color, Peaky. Oh, I, I feel all right. Um, want more meat on your bones? Or to eat more? Oh, we expect to. Oh. Uh, 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 do you know how to ride? Oh, yes. Oh, but I haven't ridden for ever so long. Oh, here. Mohammed D. Mohammed D. Mohammed D. Muhammad Din! Muhammad Din! What are you shouting for like this? Where is that in front of me? Din! Din! Oh, there you are. Thank yes, I'm Colonel uh, Sahib. Uh, get Mrs. Williams' good horse. Going riding. You go with her. 
Thank you, Colonel. Oh, uh, good morning. Helmet, sir. What? Oh, ah, thank you. Colonel, sunstroke. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I think he's going to like you, Mummy. Even if he doesn't like me. Order, sir, from the adjutant. Put him inside on my desk. Oh, sir, I do want to thank you for ordering me a new uniform. Glad to do it, Mark. Got a good record. Always neat. Military appearance. Very good soldier one day, won't you? Oh, thank you, sir. Mr. Mott. Hello. Who are you? I'm Priscilla. Hmm. Wait a minute, will you? Ha! Order, sir. Thank you, Mott. Can't you answer just one question if it is about military matters? Well, what is it? How can I get to be a soldier? You? Really, it's important. Who ever heard of a little girl being a soldier? Run along home and play with your dolls and don't follow me anymore. Why, hello there. Oh, hello, Cuppy. How's your mother? She's a bit peaky. A bit peaky? Yes. She's going riding to put some meat on her bones. <laughs> I'm going riding, too. I might meet her. Cuppy, I'm kind of worried. You are? About what? I've got to be a soldier, and I don't know how to start. Whoever put that idea into your head? The Colonel. You see, the colonel's never had any little girls around. All he understands is soldiers. So I've decided to be one. Then maybe I'll like me. How do I start, Cuppy? Well, let's see. Macduff! Yes, sir. Good morning, Sergeant. Good morning, Lassie. Good morning. We have a brand new rookie, Sergeant. Please instruct Priscilla in the Manual of Arms, the Queen's regulations, and all matters appertaining thereto. But, sir, you, I mean... Oh, yes, certainly. Carry on. Company! Left! Ten! Quick! About! She didn't lose much time getting our hands on him. He didn't lose much time either. I suppose she knows he's coming into the title. Better get a move on. But, Mother, he hasn't looked at me twice in all the time we've been here. Well, your father didn't look at me at first. But here you are, Elsie. You made a very good beginning. Yes, but... Who ever heard of a soldier called Priscilla? Aye, that's the point. Oh. You couldn't take Private Priscilla very seriously, could you? We'd have to find a new name for you. I got it. I've got it. Wee Willy Winky. Wee Willy Winky. 
wee Willy Winky. <laughs> <laughs> was he a friend of yours? Ah, uh, he was a lad that ran through an old Scotch rhyme. Wee Willy Winky ran through the town. Wee Willy Winky ran through the town. He ran through... Well, he was a lad that was always getting himself into difficulties. <laughs> Sunstroke, bad. Was he a sergeant? He probably would have been when he grew up. <coughs> Wee Willy Winky. It does sound like a soldier, doesn't it? Aye. Then I'd be Private Winky. <laughs> Private Winky is a full-fledged soldier of the Queen. Be a grand surprise for the Colonel. <laughs> Twill indeed. <laughs> and beyond that sign lies all Asia. Pacta, Samarkand, the forbidden city of Lhasa, even the Great Wall of China. And this is the gateway to it all. For thousands of years, the great caravans passing through have been robbed by the wild Afridi and Batans. And up there in those hills is the stronghold of Kota Khan. Kota Khan, the chief they arrested in Rajpur. Yes. You see that pass? With a hundred rifles, they could hold off our entire brigade. I read about it in school, but you make it sound so thrilling and romantic. Look, Corporal, I've got it at last. Got what? My new uniform. The kilt is all wool. Ha, <laughs> wool. Wool from the cotton mills of Manchester. Good lad. Uh, Mr. Mott, won't you spend the time of the day with a man? Why, why, yes, sir. And what you got there, laddie? My new uniform, sir. Aye. But you're not daft enough to wear it like that, are you? Why, what's wrong with it, sir? <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> why, it's got to be sterilized, lad. Sterilized? Aye, right. sure. How many times have I told you that in India, everything has to be sterilized? The food you eat, the water you drink. But, but not uniform, sir. Aye, laddie, it's a new order. You don't want to get the black majubis, do you? The black majubis? Ah, a terrible disease. Aye. Here, I'll sterilize it myself. Oh, thank you, sir. Aye. Aye. McTavish. McLeish. McAdoo. McNab. Oh. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. It's about done, it's and we'll rare, get it out. Know, it's too rare and fine. Aye. Oh. Aye. Oh, it's properly sterilized now. Ah. Why, it shrunk! Ah, yeah, it shrunk. Ah, it shrunk. All but the buttons. Uh, all, all but, but the, the buttons. buttons. Gentlemen, you did this deliberately. What? Hi, Dave. Oi. Did you hear what he accused me of then? Uh, oh, yeah, I did of that. deliberately doing it. Oh, I oh, know. Oh, he's a bad lad, then. Uh. Uh, he's a bad lad, but deliberately hey. doing it. Mm -hmm. How does it look to you, Sergeant? Very satisfactory. Stand at attention or I'll inspect you. Keep your eyes to the front and take a smile off your face. Aye, that's good. I thought maybe I boiled a little bit too much. Boiled it? Aye. <laughs> Just a military requirement. Take this and gear a little bit more importance. Oh, it's just elegant. <laughs> mm, I can't it myself. Thanks. Welcome. Let's let the men take a squint at you. Hello? 
Right and left. Hey. Quick. Hey. Let's go. Very good, Corporal. Escort, about, turn! Quick, now! This way, if you please. Take this from me, will you please? May Allah bless and protect thee for the rest of thy days. Thank you very much. Private Winky, come here. Get under there. They are dead. Oh, look what you've done now. Oh, you got your kilt all dirty. Come here. I have a good mind up. But he was so glad to get back his necklace, Sergeant. Well, it'll take more than a necklace to get him out of that jail. Why are they going to put him in jail? Ah, because he's a black-hearted thief in Patan, that's why. But he was such a nice gentleman. Gentleman? Pooh! <laughs> gentleman! Why, he'd cut your head off as soon as look at you. Up. Sue here. Outside, you lazy scrubs. Outside for special drill. What? Special ah, drill? Yeah. Oh. Whose orders? My orders. Your orders? Yeah, my orders. He says his orders. <laughs> <laughs> Lassie, a boot, turn. Donald. That's me when I was a little baby. Oh, I think you were just beautiful. Private Winky! Quick! Much! Party! Attend! Turn! Slop! Um! Turn! Two! Three! Present! Um! Turn! Two! Three! Slap into it, will ya? Slap into it! Take that smile off your face! Syllable of the word turn. You're smartly turned to the right, snapping your left heel against the right heel with the toes at the angle of 45 degrees approximately. Now, smartly, right turn. Quick, hatch. Dress they always the last man to obey the word of command. Always the last man. Come up and dress here. Hunter! Hey. 
Are you grinning at me? If you persist with this stubborn silence, Cody Khan, we shall never get anywhere. I tell you for the last time, we are prepared to give you your immediate release on condition that you guarantee there'll be no more stealing of rifles, no more raids, and no more plundering. Speak up, man. This is your last chance for freedom. I ask nothing. And I give nothing. Take him away. Escort, jump. Right turn. Quick march. Sergeant, what's the meaning of this? Drilling in the midday sun? Huh? Yes, sir, I... You see, sir? Yes? Yes, sir, I... I... What's the matter? Yes, sir, I... 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 Can't you talk, man? Yes, sir. You see, sir... I... 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 Come on with it! Very good, sir. You see, sir, I... I... I thought... Thought a little... Little drill wouldn't do them any harm, sir. I... The men are getting a little rusty, sir. With your permission, General. Party! Form! Fall! Now, watch this, watch this, watch this. Private Winky, sir. A new recruit. Yes, sir. Fear God, honor the Queen, shoot straight and keep clean. <laughs> <laughs> The rascals are pulling your leg, Colonel. <laughs> Fine soldier. <laughs> Captain Bobby? Yes, sir. I think a little polishing will remove that rustiness in quick time. Sergeant Macduff can take that party out for three hours extra drill. Yes, sir. Private Winky is excused. Go in and get your nap. Sergeant Macduff. The Colonel feels that three hours extra drill would eliminate that uh, rustiness. Form too deep. Five Major Sneath will uh, play you around. Quick mark, Tart. Uh, forward! Priscilla this is a containment under military discipline, and I wish that you and the child would keep to your own quarters. I will not have this containment turned into a confounded nursery. Dismissed. I mean, that's all. Good afternoon. Mr. McLeish, I'm a very unpopular man. Soon we'll be up to a hundred. Then it'll be all done. Then what'll we do, Mummy? Start another one, I suppose. Means I have Major Mrs. Mac Manucci. Mac Manucci? Mac Manucci. Uh, show them in. 
Come on, we'd better put these away. Mommy, you want me to make myself scarce? <laughs> if you want to go out and play, go on. I thought perhaps we might... I was uh, just passing. Uh, oh. I'm so glad you came. How are you, my dear? Just fine, thank you. Uh, darling, go tell Mohammedan to bring us some tea. And remember, when you go Keep out... Keep away from the soldiers. No. Keep out of the sun. Keep out of Mrs. Alderdice's petunias. Oh, I just thought of a good name for her. Mrs. Snoopy Snoop. Extraordinary. Tea for men's hips. You always hear everything, don't you, Mohammedan? Mohammedan hears very much, knows very much. Knows there's something very sad about your friend. My friend, Cuppy? The one who's in the prison. You mean in jail? Kodak Khan, why you not go see him? Kodak Khan, very sad, very lonely. But when he sees you, his heart is glad. Poor man. I go now, make tea for men's hips. You come, little girl. You go see Kodak Khan, huh? If you think it would make him happy. Very much happy. All right, I will. You give him this. What is it? Mohammedan prayer. Bring peace to his heart. Here. Like a brave sergeant, carry this pitch. Big secret, just you, me, not let anybody know. Oh, I won't. <laughs> I found it very difficult to adapt myself to when I first came from England. You know, I remember. The sound of those bugles almost drove me mad. The soldiers were. Does it affect you that way? Oh. oh. Yes, uh, but I, I've an idea. Uh, it won't be so dull for you. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, uh, Lieutenant Brandis asked me to tell you that he was going to be in Urajpur tomorrow afternoon. And if you happen to be there, just by chance, my dear. Hello, Mr. Khan. How are you today? Why do you come here? I thought you might be lonesome. You're a strange child. Aren't you sorry now you made all that trouble about those old rifles? I'm sorry only because I lost the rifles. And my freedom as well. But if you told the colonel you were sorry and promised to be good, then he'd let you out of jail. You are sorry, aren't you? No. Then you'll have to stay or I suppose till you are. Well, goodbye, Mr. Khan. Goodbye. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. It's a prayer. Mohammedan said it would bring peace to your heart. Mohammedan speaks the truth. Well, goodbye, Mr. Khan. Private Swinky, get a walk for there. I was just leaving. This way. Don't let me catch you here again. Go ahead. Now, <clears throat> now, the fundamental principles of the noble art of self-defense is, first of all, defense. Aye. Now, <clears throat> balance your body equal on each leg, bending your knees in the center. Now, come on, let's have it now. Putting your left hand in front of your face, your right hand up for defense. Now, come on, little spring. Now, Aye, spring with me. spring there. Little spring with me. Donald, demonstrate the punch. Aye, the punch, the punch. Uh, Mr. McTavish, I'll give you an opportunity to clout me on the nose. We are left hand. Aye, you see, you better get back there. You see, the man has no footwork. You're right, Donald. Now, with the right hand, is done. Right hand. Right. Again. Oh. Hey. See, 
The man left the whole of his right side exposed. Uh, Mr. McTavish, I'm afraid you'll never make a boxer. Mr. McTavish, I'm talking to you. Excuse me. Can't we ever play together anymore? No, Lassie. You've got your orders, and I've got my orders. Can't you teach me the manly art of self-defense? I'd like to. But if old man Boots was to catch us, it would be very bad indeed. Just straighten your left hand up. Put that up for your defense. Puppies, stupid. I mean, what brand are they? You mean breed. They're pure mongrels. Pure mongrels? I wish I had one of them. Well, you can't. They're mine. So soft and cuddly. I'd give anything for one. Well, what would you give? Will you, will you trade? No, well, that depends. I'd give him my toys. What have you got? Oh, heaps. Three dolls. Only one's got a broken leg, and a cook stove, and a tea set, No, and girls I... things. Hmm. I'd give you one if I had six or seven dogs, but I've only got the two. Can't I hold it for just a little while? No, you're liable to get too attached to it. Oh, good morning, sir. Hey, Mr. Sneeze, will you steal me a wee dog like a good man? A dog done. Aye. Sit up. Come on, sit up. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh, there he is. Thief. But, Sergeant, they're mine. Yours? You're laboring on the grave misapprehension, laddie. They're his. Aye. His? He's the father. You don't deny the right of a father to his own bairns, would you? But, but, Sergeant. Look how happy he is. You know, question the fraternity. But I got him from his mother. From his mother. <laughs> it's a father that counts. Aye. It's a man that has the right to his own sons. Now oh, you know that. Aye. Aye. You rage. Can't I even have one of them? No. You've no right whatsoever, laddie. But please, sir. Well, if you swear by the ghost of the Black Douglas... And the unburied dead of Culloden... And the whiskers of William Wallace. Yeah. And, uh... That you'll promise never to blow that bugle in my ear again. Well, uh... I'd give you the wee one. Oh, sir, I'll promise, I'll promise anything. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank man, you so much. Oh, you did a great day. Come on, sit up, sit up. Come on, sit down. He did it! Oh, look out now here! That clock is at the watch! Oh, Mommy, look! There's that man eating swords again. Look! Run over and watch him, Mammy. Give him these covers. Now, of course, dear. Thanks. <laughs> south, south, look at them. Look at them with the neck of it. The war tiger. I've been all the guns are moving on them. Neck of it. The neck of it. The neck of it. There's that child. No, I don't care for any of these, thank you. 
Just as I thought. Disgusting. If you had a thimble full of brains, Elsie, you'd have landed him yourself. But, Mama, I did everything you told oh, me to. Oh, you're anemic. But, Coffee, I can't openly defy him. Why not? You're not one of his soldiers to be ordered about and forbidden to do this, that, and the other. You have a right to see whom you please, where you please, and when you please. And there's no regulation that... But, Coffee, you don't understand. I'm under an obligation to him for sending for me, having us here. And for making your life miserable, I presume. He doesn't mean to. He does mean to. He revels in it, the old porcupine. You're coming to that dance with me, no matter what happens. Copy, I'd love to, but I don't see how I'm going to manage it. Definitely anemic. But mother. Well, your father's people were anemic. <laughs> oh, go away. I'm sure you sure you this nasty little dog? Go. Shoot. <laughs> Archie, you mustn't. You mustn't. Shoot. Shoot. Go away. Go away. Mother. Would stop hitting Archie. I'll teach him to leave things alone. <laughs> oh, he bit me. He bit me. <laughs> Nothing of the kind. You did. I saw you. The colonel shall hear about this. Oh. Oh. I've been attacked. Do you understand? I've been attacked by a mad dog. Yes. This is all I could fight him off. The creature charged at me. Well, do you understand? Yes. Oh, Elsie, come along. Come along. Yes. Oh. Of this. It wasn't his fault. He told me you'd bite my head off, but I don't care what you do. It was the meanest thing I ever heard of, ordering him to, to destroy all those puppies. But don't you know there's a mad dog around? Yes, sir. Archie here was awful mad at Mrs. Alderdice. But if she'd smacked you on the ear with her parasol, you'd have bitten her, too. What that ridiculous puppy? Oh, 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 baby, look at it. <laughs> what? From what I heard, she said it was a huge beast, raving mad, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Is that what old Snoopy Snoot said? What? Snoopy Snoot? That's Snoopy Snoot. <laughs> oh, grandfather, you have the wonderfulest laugh. <laughs> Have I? <laughs> it sounds just like an old horse that's got the hooping cough. What? An old horse with a hooping cough? <laughs> 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 Private Bagby. Private Winky. Good evening, Grandfather. Come to say good night? Yes, Grandfather. Now, you want me to tell you a story, I suppose? No, if you don't mind, I'd rather ask you a few questions. Oh, Lord. Don't you ever get tired of asking questions? Yeah, Bagby, shut that noise out. Yes, sir. 
tired sometimes. But that's the only way I can find out things. Well, far ahead. You know all the stories you've been telling me lately? About the time you held off that detachment of Afridis for a whole week, single-handed? Well, practically single-handed, yes. Yeah. And the time you marched those Gurkhas across the desert, clean through a blasted Simon? I did not say blasted. Well, dashed. No, dashed, all right. And the time you were almost captured and laid 16 was there his low with a butterbeer bolly rifle? <laughs> that got me my first ribbon. Hmm. Yes, always fighting and marching and working. Well, that's been my life. Well, what I want to ask is, don't you ever have a good time? Fun, I mean? No time for fun. But you have time now, haven't you? You're not doing anything but sitting here smoking your pipe. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Stand on my head? Someday, maybe. But, Grandfather, won't you? Can't you take Mommy to the dance tonight? Oh, so that's it, is it? Oh. Oh, please. Listen, doesn't that music make your feet just itch to dance? My dancing days are over. But Mommy's aren't. Couldn't you take her? And just sit around like a... a cauliflower? Like a what? I, I, I... Oh, <laughs> a wallflower, you mean? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, please. Make it a surprise. I won't tell her a word. Uh, we'll see about it. Oh, <laughs> Hey, you pop off the bed. You wheedle the whiskers off a thistle. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. Come back, man. I'm a baby. Back, man. Yes, sir. Get my Wellington. Your what, sir? My Wellingtons, you idiot. My Wellingtons. Your Wellington? Yes, my dress boots. I'm going to dance. Very well, sir. You know, you didn't take your nap this afternoon. Do you dare? But, Copy, you're on duty and, and you're not dressed. Oh, come on. Let's listen to the music. Well... This is so much nicer than being in that stuffy pavilion. Mm, it's so fragrant out here with the scent of the blossoms. Yes, I shall think of it often when I'm back in England, tramping over the moors and the rain. And England? The... Yes, I'm resigning my commission. You are? Oh, Copy. No, I just wanted to see the expression in your eyes. Oh, Copy, you're dreadful. You do care, don't you? <laughs> Have you brought your daughter-in-law? Yes. No. Uh, um, is she here? I haven't seen her. No. Will you excuse me? I look for her.
Carry on, carry on. Casualties on our side, sir. Guns and ammunition all intact and the fires under control. Good. Oh, they thought they'd catch us napping, eh? <laughs> Prisoner, sir. I think he's a chief. That's good. But, uh, Connor can't escape, sir. Escape? I. So that was our game. They tricked us. Tell him we'll give him the lash. We'll give him the lash if he won't speak up. I can't tell him the Take him out. Prisoner Scott, I can quit. Captain Stewart, one moment. Mr. Marinus, Captain Stewart, telegraph Rajpur. Have him relay the news to the other posts that Koda Khan has escaped. Sir. Mr. Marinus, you're under arrest. I, sir? For what? For deserting your post, sir. Oh. 
Bobby. Joyce. Well, Bobby, what luck? They've scattered like geese, sir. Yeah. Well, you men have better get some sleep. There'll be nothing more to do tonight. Good night, sir. Good night. Colonel. Well? Why did you have Copy put under arrest? You know perfectly well why. Yes, perfectly. Because you've had it in for him all along. He deserted his post. But the raid would have occurred just the same. You're using that just as a pretext, a technicality. Doing everything you can to keep I'm us... I'm not interested now in the affairs of your heart. But I cannot have you interfering with the discipline and obedience that I demand from my men. Discipline. You've no heart. All you've got inside of you is a book of army regulations. I've had enough of it. I'm sorry I ever came here, put myself under obligation to you. Well, you won't have to put up with us any longer. Not a single day longer. Why are you crying, I'm Mommy? Sorry. What are you doing here? Come on back to bed. Why are you making my mommy cry? So hush. Mommy was always happy till we came here, no matter what happened. Priscilla, dear. I don't care. You have no one to stick up for you here except me, making her so miserable. Just when I was beginning to think you were nice and kind and liked Mommy and me. Oh. Come here, dear. You don't understand, either of you. Joyce, you've never seen a whole regiment wiped out because of a blunder or laxity in discipline. You've never seen death all around you. But I have. Priscilla, up in those hills, there are thousands of savages all waiting for the chance to sweep down the pass and ravage India. Now, it's England's duty. It's my duty, dear, to see that they don't. And as long as I live, that duty is going to be done. The only women we want here are those who can understand that and respect it. Perhaps you're right. It might be better if you did go home. Of course, I'll continue to provide for you. I, I wish we could. We can't get through the Raj, poor sir. The wires are cut. Eh? Right? What's that? The wires are cut, sir. We can't get through to Rajpur. Well, that means we're in for it. Are we really going back to America, Mommy? Yes, dear. And leave Copy and Sergeant McDuff and Mr. Mott and everybody? Yes, we're going back home. That's where we belong. The patrol has just left for the hills. Oh, who's in command? Lieutenant Brandis. Brandis? I thought he was under restrictions. You ordered all men released for service. Ah! Can't imagine the patrol being less competent hands. However, it's done now. Come on, come on. Uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? We're leaving. We were just waiting to say goodbye to you. That's impossible. You can't go now. The roads aren't safe. We'll have to wait. Maybe for weeks. Then we are going? We'll see Copy again and Sergeant McDuff? Please. Colonel, when is this trial going to be? There's not going to be any trial. He's off. He's gone. 
gone on a, on a dangerous mission. The patrol has been ambushed, sir. Cut out. Ambushed? In voice now. Badly hurt, Donald. Where did they hit him on? Oh, oh, it's too bad. The dirty dogs. Hello, uh, not no, not. Well, okay, we keep away from these rifles. Corporal, what is that? How are we here? How are we? Hey. Hello, sir. It's a shirt that a man can shave himself with. All getting ready to shoot? Why, Coda Khan, of course. Who do you think? Coda Khan? Why? Just because he ran away? Why is everybody mad at Coda Khan? Ha, ah, that's a good one, that is. Why is everybody mad at Coda Khan? Horses getting new shoes? So they can run fast enough to catch Kota Khan? Mr. Vicky, I am busy. Stop me, please. I know somebody will tell me. that you can't see the sergeant. Just do. Is he asleep? Aye. Will you give him these as soon as he wakes up? Aye. Oh, they're beautiful. I picked them in Mrs. Lauderdice's garden. She wasn't home. <laughs> I gotta talk to him about something secret. <laughs> All right, my dear. You can go in. But don't stay too long. I won't. Thank you. I'm glad she came. Yes, he's been asking for her. Sergeant. Before we commence drill, you'll please repeat the recruiter's motto. Dear God, honor the Queen, shoot straight and keep clean. Very good, lassie.
Lassie. Will ye sing me the song once more? Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old lang syne. So here's a hand, my trusty friend, and give us a hand of thine. We'll meet again some other day for the days of old lang syne. Don't you cry. He isn't going to transfer you. Orle? Orle! It's only me. What are you doing out of bed at this time of night? I couldn't go to sleep. I've been awfully worried about something. I had to come and ask you about it. Oh? Well, what is it? Why did Sergeant Macduff have to? Have to? I liked him. I liked him so much. Sergeant Macduff died as a brave soldier should. For his queen. But the queen didn't want him to die, did she? Why, no, of course not. Then why... Now, you're only a little child. You can't understand. No, I guess I don't. 
That's why I came to you. Why is everybody so mad at Kota Khan? Why do they all want to shoot him? We're not mad at Kota Khan. England wants to be friends with all her people. But if we don't shoot Kota Khan, Kota Khan will shoot us. Now, come here. Let me try and explain to you. It's our job to keep the big pass open so the trade can flow through it. You know what trade is? Yes, Grandpa. Good. And bring peace and prosperity to everybody, even to Kota Khan. Couldn't you go and explain all that to him? <laughs> it wouldn't be much use. For thousands of years, these Patans have lived by plundering. They don't seem to realize they'd live much better if they planted crops and traded and became civilized. But, Grandfather, I don't want anybody more to get killed. Hmm. Neither do I, my child. Neither do I. But don't worry a little head about that anymore tonight. Oh, I wish something could be done. You run along to bed. Good night, Grandfather. Good night, my child. doing here? I'm going to see Kota Khan. Please help me get my pony. I'll be very quiet. Kota Khan, live far away. I take you to him. Oh, thank you. I'm sure I'd have had an awful lot of trouble finding his house. <laughs> come, come. Slept in. Eh? Uh, Bagby. <coughs> Bagby, go to the stable and see if the child's there. Yes, sir. Then Mohammedan stole his cart and clothes. The sentries, thinking he was the regular driver, allowed the cart to leave the post. Then. Then Mohammedan took her away. We found her footprints in the dust beside the tracks of the cart. The whole thing's clear to me now. Mohammed Dean's the spy, and he's taking her there. You caught a con. Sound the assembly. for 500 more. Come on. <laughs> Lovely morning, isn't it? 
Speak, Mohammedan. I bring you great treasure. Rifles? <laughs> no. Kalu Sahib's little granddaughter. <laughs> you brought her here? Yes. I'm sorry. Then they will come. Colonel, officers, everybody. Through the pass, up the steps, a whole regiment wiped out. Allah be praised. Welcome, little one. How do you do, Mr. Khan? <laughs> <laughs> they will not harm you, my chieftains. I didn't know it was so far. It's a good thing I didn't come by myself, like I was going to. You uh, were coming here by yourself? Yes. I decided last night I had to see you, Mr. Khan, right away to talk to you. If you don't mind, can I sit down? I'm awful tired and awful hungry, too. Todesta. <laughs> Mewa. Now eat, and we will talk. It's about the war. I want to ask you a question. Ask. You don't want a lot of your friends to be killed, do you? No. Then don't you think it's awful silly to be mad all the time and fighting when you don't have to? Why don't you ask your grandfather that question? I did, and he said he didn't want the war, but you wanted it. No more Bahanaki. Then you would stop the war, wouldn't you? If I could make you understand. <laughs> what is there to understand? What my grandfather told me. That the queen wants to protect all her people and make them happy and rich. No less. <laughs> Please don't laugh at me, Mr. Khan. <laughs> Allah himself would laugh, my child. Then you want to fight. And I thought you were good. You had such nice eyes. And I gave you back your necklace. Please, Mr. Khan, please don't have any war. Please don't. Between your people and mine, little one. There can be only war. Then you want war. You want to fight. You want to kill people. Like you did my friend, poor Sergeant McDuff. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I think you're all very, very mean. <laughs> We will attack immediately unless the child is released. The one of the
Singh, forward. Come thou. Long has Koda Khan waited to meet the British in battle on these steps. Now. Shall we attack, sir? Possible. We shouldn't have a chance. They'd wipe us all out. What are you going to do, sir? If I don't come back with Winky, you'll have to fight your way through. Good. You'll attack that back. Yes, sir. Brandies, you know what you have to do. Yes, sir. Here's one for McDuff. Please don't let them shoot my grandfather. You will not be harmed. Go to God. I... I owe you a debt of gratitude. You owe a debt of gratitude to her, your granddaughter. Incredible. Extraordinary. Now we shall talk, Colonel Williams. But quietly. to admit that you make a very good soldier. You, uh, you covered yourself with glory and distinction on the field of battle. Thank you, Private Mutt. Sergeant McDuff, he would have been very proud of you. Thank you, Private Mutt. 
that means more to me than all the other things put together. Thank you. 